Let's ask Jonathan Sheridan for Fig Securities his take on what we saw. Because that Bank of Japan meeting yesterday, of course, they could have moved policy, maybe saw the yen a little weaker, but instead they kept it unchanged. How did you view that? Good afternoon, Ingrid. You're right. Obviously, uh, it was Central Bank Day yesterday, mm -hmm. you know, with the Fed and the uh, RBNZ as well in play. Uh, the Bank of Japan, as you said, was a big surprise when they didn't choose to increase their stimulus. And as you said, uh, big reaction. The Nikkei was down quite a lot, 3% uh, or thereabouts, I think. And, and as you said, the yen continues to rally uh, off about four points against uh, against pretty much, oh, sorry, stronger, I should say, mm -hmm. uh, a lower rate against against pretty much every currency. So, as you said, continuing to rally. I think, you know, they're, they're in a between a rock and a hard place, the Bank of Japan at the moment. Um, they're, they're all of their government bond market, um, you know, they, they really are, are coming to the pointy end of, of deciding whether the Arbonomics uh, strategy is actually working and, and whether they actually do anything more will actually change anything. What about here at home? I mean, we, we're sort of stuck in a, in a similar situation. We've got, I mean, we don't have deflation, not similar to Japan, but similar in terms of having to balance things because we've got sort of some positive news in the Australian economy and, and then that, those inflation numbers shocked expectations. What are you seeing in terms of pricing for a rate cut next week? Yeah, look, I think it's a 50-50 call. That's what we're seeing in the market. Um, it is really too close to call. I mean, obviously, Glenn Stevens due to retire fairly shortly, and uh, I, I guess this will be the, you know, the final, uh, the final pointer that he puts down on his term as RBA governor, and, and whether he wants to be uh, the one that introduces uh, yet another record low rate uh, is obviously to be seen. I think personally, they'll probably hold. Mm. I think, um, you know, they'll want the currency lower, but uh, as you say, generally economically, we seem to be doing pretty well. How do you think yields will respond to uh, obviously a cut in rates by the RBA if they do cut on Tuesday? Yeah, look, with the inflation number, we saw um, a big tightening in yields across the board, and, and that was obviously led by uh, the expectations that uh, rate cuts were back on the table. Um, I think, as I said, it's about half priced in. So if they do cut, we'll see another another rally in yields, uh, probably about uh, 10 points or so on the 10-year government bond. All right, also want to talk company news because Blue Scope has upsized uh, their bond deal to 500 million. It looked like it was well oversubscribed, that one. Yeah, that's right. It's a really big order book and, and they took the chance to take another 200. So they initially said they wanted to raise 300 million. Uh, they did half a billion in the end and they, they got it away at the tight end of the pricing guidance as well uh, at around 6.5%. So it's rallied strongly in, uh, in grey market trading and so already priced at about 102, 102.50 market we're seeing there. So uh, it's a good deal for everyone uh, on that one. All right, Jonathan Sheridan, appreciate your time. Have a good weekend. Thank you. Thanks, Ingrid. You too. John Sheridan there from Fig Security.